Hello guys, it's Claude and Jessica living in the Philippines. Well, I was just thinking about topics and things that uh, people are interested in. And how is uh, your wife or how is my Philippine wife different from your American wife or American women? That's what we're talking about right now. Well, first of all, my wife is completely different from my other two wives. Not down on them or nothing, but or from American women or what I hear or see or see how people act and behave. I use, I could use examples of people I, you know, met here and watched them, their, uh, their relationships. And uh, let's talk about my Philippine wife first, my Filipina. Some people tell me not to use that term, but my, uh, my Philippine wife from Mindanao, Bukidnon, Quezon, Bukidnon, Mindanao. She's uh she's an amazing woman, which I have said before. But um I don't have to ask her to do stuff. Like it's just weird. She's on the same page. Uh when it comes to like house cleaning and stuff like that, you know, I could look at something on the floor and my lazy butt won't get it, but next thing you know, there she goes with her broom. Zoom. And uh even the helpers we have constantly cleaning, constantly sweeping everything, you know, no 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 dirt, no nothing. <laughs> um She's great. She's great with the kids. But as far as cooking, like even after a hard day's work, now she's working. Um, she'll cook or something like that. Lately, I've been stepping in doing that so she can get her rest. Um, in the morning, like I have to bring my son to school and I'm toting my daughter in my hand. Um, she's already got their clothes ready and everything else. Not saying that American women don't do that, but... From some of my experiences, you know, you, you, I have to ask, you know what I mean? You shouldn't have to ask. And if it's something in your, your cleave together and you're working together as a couple, as a married couple, you should not have any of these problems. <laughs> my wife, uh, she gives my son a bath when he gets home. Um, she's come, she's given lovings to my daughter. She, you know, like I said, she cooks. She understands, and part of my problem in the Philippines, I want an American food. So even if I'm having, say, a cheeseburger for dinner or something else, you know, uh, let's say collard greens and cornbread. She does like that, though. She'll make that, but she still has her rice and some kind of uh, some kind of uh, meat. She likes the bones and the meat. So, like, just look at her plate and look at mine. She cleans her bones. <laughs> but... Um, She'll do, she'll make both meals, you know, but and when they cook in the Philippines, it's a little bit different sometimes. You know, when you get to the food, it might be cold, but it's just because things are different there and they don't all have microwaves and things. But, um, you know, I don't mess with her, can't be in or on the stove or the sink at the same time because I love to cook and she likes to cook. But uh, she takes care of that. She's bringing home the bacon and cooking it too right now. <laughs> Which is awesome. Shout out to my wife, Jessica. Uh, she just left her, her badge home from work, so I had to run it down there and give it to her. My daughter's sleep behind me over here. So it's time for me to catch a nap. But, you know, big, big differences from what I see. Uh, you know, uh, you see the stupid memes where people can't, you know, how marriages break up when they're laying on their bed, they're both in their phones. Not with us. This is what we do. You know, she's a creator on FB and I'm a creator here. And uh, she's feeling much better after having her C-section. But she gets up and goes. She was up at 5. I'm like, honey, you don't have your orientation till 8 today. But she's in here ironing and taking care of stuff with the kids and stuff. Not that American women don't do these things. But, um, yeah, you, some of you guys will know what I'm talking about. And the reasons why we marry Filipino women. They're very passionate women. When it comes to love and everything else, um, it's just amazing. You know, all women are different and what they think and how they do stuff. And, you know, but um, uh, I've been blessed with my wife, Jessica, and it was worth four year LDR relationship waiting until we got to meet and following her through. She even told me one time, I can't wait anymore. So I didn't hear from her for a month. Next thing you know, she was calling me back saying, sorry about that. But she needs to work. She always works. She's she gets up and goes. And the way it looks is uh, the nurses may be asking her if she wants to go to nursing school. The hospital may pay for that. Can't argue with it. 
it changes my perception of what I had planned for my retirement. But this is it. You know what I mean? Uh, God does things for a reason if you're a believer. And uh, it's got me up moving around, losing a couple of pounds. I'm off to the gym next month. My daughter will be three months old. Then I can go to gym. I can go to gym for free anyways. But now they'll take care. will take care of her while I'm in there uh, walking some miles or whatever the training is going to be. But it's been good for me and my wife, uh, she's bringing home the bacon along with, you know, my retirement and stuff and, and our goals for the future and our houses in the Philippines. We're going to start working on them again soon. So excited for that, guys. But think about your differences from a Filipino wife to an American wife and how is it better? Is it worse? Thanks for watching our channel. Please hit the uh, thumbs up, the like button, and have a great, great rest of your week.